tired this morning, but I feel pretty good. But you know what I really feel good about? My son moved to New York about six months ago, and he's been working hard. And today, him and his homie, Jazz Ingram, they dropped their new music video called Blue Gatorade. My employee decided to show up for work, and look how she decided to show up for work. A hot mess. Okay, let me tell you something else about freeloaders. They tend to like to use up your air conditioning. Bro, it's hot. Listen, it's at 78 right now. I don't, have a, I don't have a problem with 78. I have a problem though, when you turn it down to 75, 74, and then you leave it there and you leave, and then I gotta check to see, man, is it back at 78? I keep my house at 78, I like my house nice and cool. Other people might like it cooler, I don't know, but freeloader here. Uh, I be sweating at night, I be like. <sighs> I don't care, you keep it. Okay, but it, Look, if you turn it down, just turn it back when you get up, don't forget. Or I'm going to charge your ass. <laughs> so my son and his friend, Jazz. Well, my son is the producer. Jazz is the, the artist. They just dropped a video. Let's look at it. Even I know a couple creatures they ain't hiding. I'm really happy for those two. If there's one thing I like... I like Pumas. I have several pair. I'm thinking about wearing these. I forgot to tell you too, going to the Sparks Indiana Fever game with my boy G. So I gotta run to the bank, I gotta get some money, and then we gotta get on the freeway so we can get to the fish spot down in downtown LA. And I'm gonna show you what all that is because it's somewhere that we like to eat. Is this all you do? It's, yes, because I'm enjoying my time before I have to start school. Thank you very much. You have a job. It's with me. Do something with your life. You know what? <laughs> Pulling up to this bank. So I can get this money. Because that's what I do is get that money. All right, I'm going to Jamba Juice because I need something to drink. And I like Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice is good. Yo. Yo, I'm outside. Oh, uh, yeah, I come. All right. That mud look clean on you. Let me see. Boy, that, that look good on you. See, I got good taste. You, I don't know. I don't know what your taste is. Yeah, go ahead and put that seat back. Get some room, big fella. Yeah, I like the way you said that. Say it again. Big fella. <laughs> look at you. You look like you might want to smack somebody. Just might. <laughs> but we gonna keep it G-rated. Oh no, did I just say that? G-rated? Son of a! Who do you think is gonna win the championship this year? I honestly think that the uh, Clippers will win the championship this year. They roster and look at what they did last year and look at what they added this year I'm going with the Clippers. What about pressure situations, right? There's some there's some men in the world, I ain't gonna, I'm not even gonna speak on women, but this is about men. There's some men in the world that just can't handle pressure. 
they, like it's just not in their DNA. And I often wonder sometimes, like cats that can't handle pressure because there's three seconds on the clock and you, you know, the coach called your number to shoot the ball and you can't handle the pressure. I'd be like, how can you not handle the pressure? It ain't like you got a gun to someone's head and it's, it's life or death. Make the shot or don't make the shot. This dude over here said he firing the trigger. I'm firing. I lost a couple games like that at Cal State Bakersfield. Coach Douglas told me, Greg, I don't know whether to keep you in or take you out of the game because I don't want you to just shoot it and we lose again. So I shot it. I lost two games. <laughs> <laughs> Not a care in the world, huh? Nope. Uh, he gave me the ball again, I fired again. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up? You been out partying all night? <laughs> no, Jazz was here. How was the thing last night? It was fun. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good turnout. Yeah, you, you, you said it was a good turnout? Yeah, it was like, it was like cool. Yo, I love the video, dog. I think that shit is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> that's a nice video. Your Uncle Greg's in here. What's up, Cheapster? Oh, what's good, bro? How you doing? Man, I'm good. I'm good, I man. Guys, I like your video, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, no problem, little drama boy. <laughs> <laughs> Greg just had a moment of inspiration. What were you saying, Greg? Yeah, we, we go so far back, Mike and I. Our kids literally call uh, us uncle. You know, my kids call him Uncle Mike. His kids call me Uncle Greg. And it's just the way it is. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. That's how far we go back. We go back like four flats on a Cadillac. Well, coming to one of our favorite fish joints. All right, baby. That's, that's some good stuff. I'm gonna take them to Redondo Beach one day so we can compare. Right now, this is the best fish or seafood place, I should say, in the world. <laughs> that's a, that is a bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> in the world, and look at, look at where we are. In the world, Craig, in the world. <laughs> <laughs> in the world, and there ain't no ocean right near us anywhere. This is the best seafood in the world. That's a bold <laughs> statement. We barely fit in this Joe's parking garage. I forgot I drive a big truck. And it was a tight fit. But me and Greg are used to tight fits. Greg would always fit it in, you know what I'm saying? You always get it in and get out, you know what I'm saying? Safely, because we're good drivers. Good driver. Good driver, so. Great driver. Great drivers. And that's what we do. Now we're gonna go to a new place. Well, not a new place, it's Riff. We seem to have gotten lost in the parking garage. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to that man at the vending machine thing. But we are also working off all the food that we ate. Delicious. I don't want to off here. About to go to this game with my man G. Look at him, the living legend.
I'm with Bird. You know, AKA, you know, Erica McCall. The man, the myth, the legend. Mike Lopez behind the camera. With the entourage. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Look, and I can get the whole town. They didn't get the win. I made my two for the line. <laughs> my GoPro is completely dead. But that's okay. Had a good time. Just got back. And here's what I learned today. What I learned today is. You can't allow anyone to put limits on yourself. You gotta think bigger, and you gotta be bigger than your surroundings. So, be bigger than what you are, do bigger things, and don't let anyone hold you back. Peace. I'm done.